Oh, that must be some fish, little kitty. No, kitty, it's a mermaid. Well, to see a mermaid, we must dive deeper into their origin by answering a fishy question. Are mermaids real? Zoom in! Mermaids are depicted as enchanting hybrid marine creatures possessing the beauty of a woman on the upper half of their bodies and the tail of a fish at the bottom, while modern animated movies have integrated them into our pop culture. These creatures have been captivating the human imagination for centuries, appearing in ancient folklore and mythical tales. Yes, the first whispers of mermaids emerged around 1000 BC from the tales of a Syrian goddess, Atagatis, who had the desire to turn into a fish. So she dived into a magical lake, but her divine beauty could not be changed and only her bottom half transformed into a fish. Since then, many other mermaid stories have appeared in folklore from various cultures. Mami Wata from Africa and Ningyo from Japan are a couple of examples of these stories. Later, as time passed by, various stories originated from sailors' accounts about encounters during their journeys across the oceans. One of the most famous stories came from Christopher Columbus, who claimed to have spotted mermaids near Haiti in 1493. However, he described them not as pretty as they are depicted, for somehow in the face they looked like men. But is there any truth to the existence of mermaids under the oceans? Well, one fascinating theory proposed by scientists is the aquatic ape hypothesis, which suggests that humans may have undergone an evolutionary phase that involved in semi-aquatic lifestyle. This means that our ancestors might have spent considerable time in and around water environments such as coastal regions for food and shelter. So to adapt and survive in such watery conditions, early humans must have developed several unique traits, including bipedalism, loss of body hair, subcutaneous fat deposits, and certain physiological changes. Later, this lifestyle may have given rise to stories of superhumans swimming like fishes, potentially explaining the origin of mermaid myths. However, it's important to note that the aquatic ape hypothesis remains highly debated and controversial within the scientific community due to the lack of substantial evidence. But then, how do you explain those mermaid sightings? Scientists argue that certain rare conditions such as marine mirages or optical illusions could contribute to these sightings, leading people to believe they have encountered mermaids or mermaid spotting explorers got glimpses of human-sized marine mammals called manatees and dugongs. So in conclusion, a mermaid is merely a cultural and mythical myth rather than a scientifically supported concept. But remember my friends, while there is no concrete evidence supporting the existence of mermaids, the depths of the ocean remain largely unexplored with vast areas still undiscovered. So, as we explore it, uncovering new species and unraveling mysteries, who knows what secrets may still be waiting to be revealed. So, keep looking, my friends. Trivia time! Did you know, in 2012, the television channel Animal Planet aired a show claiming to show evidence that mermaids are real? 
initially many people believed it to be true. However, it was later revealed to be a work of fiction created using computer graphics and actors. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Avanish Kumar. Hope you had fun today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. <laughs> <laughs>